Afternoon folks, this is Darren Edwards here at UR Quattro Restoration and uh, I said I'd post a series of videos relating to KJ Tronic on the WR UR Quattro and um, so I'm just going to give a brief description today on uh, how the system works and what the parts are um, the components are and what they do and where they live and um, first of all uh, this is KJ Tronic uh, also known as CIS or constant injection system and uh, the reason it's called that is because the injection into through these pipes from the metering head is not sequenced they all all five squirt at the same time um, into the cylinders whichever into the into the inlet manifold whichever uh, cylinder is requiring the fuel uh, and the air mixture um, sucks it in whereas it lays dormant for a short while inside of the inlet manifold for the next cylinder to suck it in so it's a constant injection system it's all five injectors spraying at the same time now they're all governed by this which is called a metering head and the metering head is supplied by the pump in the rear and the pump um, passes through a fuel accumulator which is in the underneath the back of the car then through a filter clean the fuel and then it comes up via the flow pipe and then into the metering head. Now it builds up pressure inside this metering head and that pressure acts against a plate in here. Now this is the plenum and when you when you open the accelerator on your car you the engine wants to draw in more air and when it does that it lifts the plate in here. Now that plate would lift higher if there was lower fuel pressure in here or there would be more resistance to it lifting if there was higher fuel pressure in here. So on a UR Quattro, the late great Phil Payne used to say the three most important things to check on a UR Quattro if it's not running right is fuel pressure, fuel pressure and fuel pressure. And he wasn't far wrong, to be honest. It's very important to this engine for the fuel pressure to be right. Um, I've done it myself many times where I've had an engine running a little bit ropey and I've changed the spark plugs, changed the dizzy cap, changed the spark leads, etc. I've gone down that route when actually problem has been too much fuel pressure uh, so I bought myself a fuel pressure test kit from America uh, and in my next video I'm gonna I'm gonna fit that onto the car and show you how to check your fuel pressure uh, it's quite a simple job but um, I do check mine every now and again just to see what's happening with the engine make sure it's all alright um, but basically the fuel pressure that's in this uh, metering head is governed uh, by the warm-up regulator now the warm-up regulator bleeds pressure off through this pipe and it runs down to what is known as the warm-up regulator or the warm-up valve or the fuel pressure regulator and that's down on the side of the engine and it lives down there for two reasons one it um, takes heat off the engine um, and basically there's a bimetallic strip inside there that just opens a valve basically it's just like a tap and it bleeds off pressure from the metering head back to the tank so you've got a you've got a, a pipe that comes from the metering head which runs down to the warm-up regulator and then another pipe that returns from the warm-up regulator and then that ends up going back to the fuel tank via the return so if you're running too high a fuel pressure under normal circumstances then what it's most likely to be is a problem with your warm-up regulator now I've cleaned a few out just lately uh, because there's a little filter gauze inside of them that can block up and that causes back pressure up to the metering head and then of course that makes the engine run bad because obviously when you open the accelerator you want that plate to lift to the correct amount so that you get the correct amount of fuel metered with the amount of air that's going in the engine and if you've got back pressure from your warm-up regulator to your metering head then it's going to cause the engine to run too lean it might tick over okay and it might run low down revs okay but as soon as you're asking for fuel higher up the rev range as you start to accelerate if the fuel pressure is too high here because there's back pressure from a blocked warm-up regulator then the plate is reluctant to lift because of the back pressure on top of the metering head so I hope I've explained that all right but that's why it's crucial that the warm-up valve or warm-up regulator has got a good flow and return to it that it's not blocked uh, because it basically when you first start the car it lets off so much pressure that it only accumulates one bar of pressure in the metering head 
and that's like a choke in a way. It allows the plate to lift a lot higher and meter a lot more fuel while the engine's cold. Now that's basically its job really, hence the name it's called a warm-up valve or warm-up regulator. But of course, under normal running conditions when the engine's warm, you should be running at about 3.7 bar. Now if that's blocked, it's going to be quite a bit higher and I've come across a lot of WR engines that are running at four, four and a half bar and that's because they're blocked and I've blown a few out with an airline via the return on them and it's worked every time. Uh, the amount of crap that I get come out of them is unbelievable but that's something that's worth looking at if you can't if you can't get good power out of your car and you've changed plug leads and all the rest of it and you're at a loss as to why it's not going like it should then get your fuel pressure checked because it's so important on a WR engine and uh, it's most likely in most cases it's a blocked filter in the warm-up valve and that causes too high a pressure on the air and then that way then even if you've got great injectors and all the rest of it if there's no other underlying faults with the engine too high a pressure on here and you're just not going to have the fuel metered that should be metered and of course then you run the risk of damaging your engine because it's running too lean uh, right so that's the metering head fuel pressure uh, warm-up regulator I'll just cover a couple of other things while I'm here uh, on the k -Jetronic. we've got um, the cold start valve which sits on here injector number six so to speak and that comes off its own permanent fuel supply there's a there's an electric valve in there that shuts on and off and basically that only operates under cranking under it, it comes off a it comes off a, um, a feed um, that only works when you're turning the key it doesn't work any other time it's only under cranking that that works and that's that's also part of the k-jetronic it just takes a a feed from the side of the meeting head a constant feed there and if the valve opens um, it works um, other things of note just looking around we've got the we've got the enrichment valve here and now that's linked to the warm-up valve and it's a solenoid basically and air goes through it you should you should when you've got the ignition on without the engine running you should be able to put your accelerator up to three parts throttle and you should hear that solenoid clicking when it clicks it opens and it actually lowers the fuel it, it lowers the um, fuel pressure by sucking on a diaphragm inside the warm-up regulator again that moves the bimetallic strip and lowers the fuel pressure and what that just momentarily when you accelerate it and then that has the effect of letting the plate just rise a little bit higher um, by lowering the fuel pressure on the metering head so under hard acceleration and heavy load the solenoid valve opens you get more vacuum pressure on the back of the warm-up regulator because there's a little vacuum pipe in there it causes a vacuum and that moves the plate slightly further over lets more fuel back to the tank and raises the plenum plate giving you more fuel so that's the full throttle enrichment um, setup works off a switch in here there's two switches one for idle stabilization the other one for full throttle enrichment it's really important that that works because you could uh, you could put a hole in your piston if that doesn't work like I did in 1993 so where uh, that's the uh, full throttle enrichment uh, other things just very quickly to note on the K-Jetronic system is this this auxiliary air valve here basically that is default open with the ignition off and then when you turn the ignition on it very slowly closes that's just there to act as uh, to give the engine a bit more air it, it's what this pipe comes off the side of the you've got this big intake pipe here going onto the manifold and there's a small pipe that runs off the side and goes up the side of the engine underneath they're below this breather pipe and that comes around and basically that just raises the revs of the engine um, to um, when you're on choke when it's cold and uh, when the when the ignition is on it basically shuts that off so and a good way to tell if your engine's running high and you can't understand why you've turned you put the air screw back in and it's still running high just pinch that pipe over and close that valve off and if the revs die back down then that's stuck open there's another tip there for uh, on that they'll very often see them stuck and seized but they can be they can have a bit you can just squirt a bit of wd-40 inside and free them up um and that's about it for the minute for k jetronic i will uh, post another video um showing how to fit a fuel pressure tester 
and um, and then other topics I'll just cover is uh, what can go wrong with these bits and bobs. There's a few things I can that I will be talking about again about the metering head and warm up reg itself. So uh, in the next video we'll get the fuel pressure tester uh, fitted, uh, get the gauge fitted to the car, and then I can show you how easy it is to uh, just check your fuel pressure. Uh, right, that's it from me for now. I hope the video has been helpful to uh, somebody at least. And um, if you've got any questions, just um, put a question in the box and I'll try and answer it for you. Thanks for watching.